What's up, guys? Subzeric here. Uh, I started a Darius with a bow. Um, I want to play Yordles this game. Debonair looks cool. Looks cool. Is strong. Yeah, it's Debonair is really fun. It's very flashy. Um, a lot of cool units and just like it's shiny, you know. Okay, I want to play. I want to play Yordles this game. Like, let's hit Yordles. I just I want to get so small at uh, right here, and then I want three Yordles in, and then I want to get two six Yordles with a Heimerdinger or wait, not Heimerdinger, the new Heimerdinger who is um, quirky or Narcary. I can oh grab this. Hmm. Archangel's embrace. When casting their ability, your units gain AP. Your units? Oh, it's just like every unit. Gain AP equal to 15% of their maximum mana. Or you just take Scrap Art and have a really strong early game. Kind of down for just this. It's more adventurous to do the Archangels thing, though. Um, hold this. Yes. RFC Nar, one time. Play these two, I guess. These. I want Yordles, man. I don't really want to level. Ooh, Echo? I need another scrap. I need another scrap. I want to play four scrap. My words are going to be so strong if I can play four scrap. Just give me one more scrap unit, please. Ziggs, we hit it. I mean, yeah, this is the board. We're ridiculously strong. Let's, uh, like, let's never lose. I'm not planning on losing a round ever. Oh, we just fit Yordles in, and that'd be great. Fit Yordles in at five? Infinite damage. Yeah, like, we're so tanky. We have all these items. Four scrap is, like, the most broken level four in the game. I think. Like, I... What's what's better, actually? I just want to get Yordles in now. And then we're chilling. Oh? Alright, this is going to next level. We're going to double level next turn and put Corky in. And then we're going to make infinite gold. And uh, and our board's going to be really strong. I mean, you could always just put this in here. Like this. But it's going to make my board so much weaker. I'm just going to play this for one round and keep my win streak. Yeah, keep having my Echo jump here. This is a good spot for him to jump to. That's why you take Scrap Art. Like, this is... It's so good. Scrap Art actually nuts. Alright, I don't know if I can actually play, like, Yordles Yordles this game. I can at least play them early game. I would like to play Yordles. But I might get contested. I might not hit a good Yordle augment. We'll see, though. I really want to see how uh, Yordles are now. Has ZZ Rots got me? It's actually really close. I think... I Wait, is it an underdog stiff? Okay, that's nice. Um, yeah, buy up a bunch of one costs. And then we're double leveling for this. Don't need this, don't need this, don't need this. Don't... Yeah. I'm just going to double level for this. Makes us stronger. And we're going to get the money back from uh, leveling for Yordle anyway. Uh, any kind of positioning we need to do? Now we're good. I'm just going to do this at the last second, because I'm going to try hard. Catch people off guard with that last second level. Uh, and like this, this could be our next in. Oh, hey, no, there's no way. Our next in is going to be Arcanist. Yo, no way we would lose this, right? This is a really good zillion, or uh, singe flip, though. 
There's no way. This guy just got four would I was gonna say three out, but uh, we actually did four him. Yeah, it's just Arcanist next. Or Twin Shot. Actually, Twin Shot would be really good. Okay, so who is it? Gangplank is the other Twin Shot. Yeah, duh. Doi. Um, what's his attack range? Four. His mana cost is only 50. Kinda down for a blue buff Corky then, huh? Blue buff IEJG Corky? I don't know what to do with all these bows then. Okay, I still don't know what to do with all these bows. I mean, it could be Gnar items. Kinda down. Wait, let's just grab this. Deathcap Corky. I mean, well, it could be anything. Oh? Oh? Okay. Place the rod here for now. Buy this. We need to make money. Sell, 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 sell. Sell this if we lose. This is one more. We just need Lulu and Vex, and then we can have six Yordles in. Which is like almost definitely worse than our current board. But it's okay. Once we hit the Yordle Augment, 100% we're going to hit the Yordle Augment on 3-3. And oh my god, what the hell is this board, bro? You have GP2, Swain2, Jarvan2. Huh? This guy's hacking. Does my Corky ever win these? Wow, that did 5 damage. That is not good. Yeah, that guy's board is too strong. Uh... Uh, why are you holding this one cost? It doesn't, um... Like, it's... There's no reason not to. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm gonna sell them, probably. Um, but it's actually, like, okay to hold them. Just because it's slightly, like, a tiny bit increases the chance of me hitting, like, a Ziggs or a Poppy. Um, so, kind of worth it. Um, so in, like, a normal game, I'd probably sell this if I win. I do want to try to play uh, Yordles, though, so I guess I'm gonna hold this. My streak, man. That guy's board was so strong. I mean, to be fair, my board has four scrap. But uh, I have literally no two stars, so my board's not that strong. We're gonna win this fight, though. We can hold on to these Arcanists, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. I have a really good feeling about six Yordles this game. And I feel like you really need to high roll to play it, but like you really need good augments to play six Yordles. I should sell the Gnar. I'm gonna sell the Gnar. We'll get it back. Gnar will come back to us. The 20 gold actually matters a lot. Okay, this is my Poppy. My Ziggs. We'll have to sell him to get the bow off later. I think 20 is some. I don't know. I mean, if I'm really gonna play six Yordles, it's kinda troll to sell the Gnar, but. Uh, he, it's fine. He'll come back. He'll come back. If you love something, let it free. I want a twin shot. Where's my GP at? Twin shot or an Arcanist, ideally, but I'd rather the twin shot, the double cast potential. That would be big. Okay. The rod for Corky. So I just slam Death Cap. Another Corky? That's Corky too. Nice. Maybe contested. That's a really good question. This guy's got three Yordles in. Uh, looks like he's not actually holding a lot, though. I think we're fine. There's my Vex. There's my Lu Oh, I could have had six in, bro. It's fine. It's, like, actually worse. Yeah, this guy's not playing Yordles. He's playing, like, Malzahar. But he's playing some kind of Arcanist comp. Which means he might actually contest me on, um... Yeah, we slam Rabadons here. Right? Yeah, why not? I doubt I'm gonna play six scrap. Seems unlikely. I think this is my next level. And then we probably cut Blitz plus Echo to play six Yordle. If we can. Oh wait, there's my twin shot by the way, I should hold on to this. This is actually our next level. Oh? 
Okay. I mean, I have to play this for now. How do I lose? There are guys playing Ari, maybe? Yeah, it's possible. Sell this. I don't want to sell any of my Yordles, but maybe I have to. We'll see. I want to play Corky. I want to play Corky Carry, man. It's okay. We don't have to play six Yordles for a long time. We could also just play three Yordles Corky Carry with, um, probably like Arcanist? Probably like Vex. What's this? What's this? I'm not sure. We'll see. Yeah, the twin shot should be pretty helpful here. And I think I just want blue buff Corky, right? His mana pool is only 50. He's dealing good damage. My first ever game of Corky carry. He feels nice so far. I really just want him casting more frequently. So that's uh, that's probably the biggest thing. I think the uh, the two star echo is really good. Okay, so small. And... Um, I could make Corky an Arcanist. I'm kind of down to just take this. Okay, 25% of max mana. 25% of 50 is uh, 12 and a half. He's going to gain 12 and a half AP. So to reach a Rabadon's death cap, he needs to cast like five, six times. I mean, he's casting a lot. Yo, wait, if I get six Yordles in? If I get six Yordles in, he's going to be casting so much, now that I think about it. Because of the the 25% cost to cast. It's an idea. We're in a Saki Con. It's a six Yordles game. We're all in. We are all in. Jojen and blue buff? I think maybe just blue buff is enough, even. But, like, Shojin could also be really good. I I should do the math. Um, Because, like, blue buff is going to make it... It's 20... 20 uh, mana refund. 25% less mana to cast. Yeah, we lost. I want to sell these. It's so sad. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. The Yordles game. Okay, we really badly need a tier. If you can't get tier, we can just grab uh, JG. I really badly need that tier. Okay. Nice. And then this is uh this is my sixth Yordle actually. So I could play six Yordle. Cut these two units. Go seven. Go seven. Cut this unit. Uh. Um. Go seven. Cut these two units. Seems most likely. But I can't do that yet. I have to wait. I must wait. I, mean, I could cut the GP right now for Vex. Ah, uh, because this increased our chance of making gold. Because now if we win, we can make 50. Which, I don't know, these guys... Based on the fact that they're both... Uh, so healthy, I imagine they're kind of strong. But maybe we can... Okay, there's this guy again. His board hasn't become that much stronger since we fought him last. Maybe we can win now. Okay, the only issue is if Talon just straight up kills my Corky, I will be upset. Okay, Corky, kill it, turn around and kill the Talon. Nice. Big bomb. You mean like a double Corky shot or something? Oh my god, the Corky damage. Wait, actually though? The ZZ Rot diff. We're gonna win because of the ZZ Rot. Nice, nice. 50 gold. Okay. Another Ziggs. Oh. Now that I think about it, what am I gonna do with this bow? I'll just leave the bow on him, I guess. Give him some kind of bow. I'll give him like. Static Shiv? Oh, it feels so bad, but I, I don't want to find three more Ziggs. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I didn't think about that. But I had to get the scrap value. With the Corky? They don't get wrecked by, um... 
Twitch? I just don't want Twitch sitting here and autoing both of them. Zerat needs a nerf? Maybe. I don't know. It's not that broken, right? It's, like, good. It's not, like, broken broken, though. It's, like, quite good, though. I I like it. It's a brand new champion. It's true. But it's not, like, a... It's not, like, a real champion. It's, like, kind of a champion. Okay. So we need to get these two in. I think we have to go level 7 to do it. There's another quirky... I have four pot. Like, I could roll here and try to hit more Yordles. Which is probably what we need to do. Yeah, that's probably what we need to do. Is just roll and find more Yordles. And then we can go to seven and put everything in. I'll sell this if I need bench space. Oh, okay, Lulu. Okay, that's our blue buff. A lot of money. Yeah, let's just roll. Okay, let's do is nice. Okay, really close to the zigs. Uh, I have to skip over this for a sec. Okay, now we have more space. I have no space on my bench because I'm playing all this trash. Blue buff. And then one more item for him. We, we had to sell our uh, Gnar. It's fine. We'll find another Gnar in our rolling. We're, uh, we're actually really close to Lulu 3. But yeah, I mean, you're rolling down for a 2 cost. It benefits you to roll at 6, right? Sell Gnar. It's, I, it hurts to do, but I think I had to do it. I needed the space on my bench. We'll find another Gnar. Hopefully. Okay, there's Ziggs. That's really good. Uh, I really want to find Lulu before I stop rolling. Or not a uh, Lulu, Poppy. I really want to find Poppy 3 star. And then I'm happy to level. Still haven't found the Gnar yet, but we'll find him. We'll find him. Okay, this is actually pretty good though. 88 HP. Uh, Him over here is fine, I think. My only other option was like sell part of my bench and put the units in. I think that makes my board so much weaker, right? I drop bodyguard and scrap. I don't think that's the right play. So yeah, probably JG is my last quirky item that he casts. Yeah, I mean it's three autos, obviously right now. And then I think it'll be two autos. Once I get Yordles in, and if I had Shojin, it would I have to get to 38, so one... There's Poppy. Okay, good. Lulu 3? I'm literally not playing. Okay, well this is this has to be played. I'll probably play here, drop the scrap. Even though it hurts because he's so strong. Another Corky is good. There's my Nars. I think it's better now. Okay, good. Uh, it's probably gonna be a Titans. I'm not sure yet though. I don't want to wait to see my uh, Carousel item. Or my board might have gotten weaker here. It's three autos still? One, two, three. Yordle's abilities cost 25% less to cast. What does that actually mean? Like, what does that actually mean? They cost 25% less to cast? Oh, does that mean... Okay, it's 37 now. Is this the negative synergy? Yeah, I agreed. It, it hurts, but I think I had to. Uh, I want the glove. If it's not the glove, it could be like double death cap. Doesn't feel great. We're not getting many more items. It's double death cap, I think. I think it's double death cap, and then I build this, and then this is just my last item. 
Oh. I mean, it could always be Ionic Spark, like Windsor. I think it's just double death gap. <laughs> Which looks hilarious. Okay, and then we keep rolling for this. We can put this uh, in at 7. Yeah, like... I think this is technically cutting my mana down. So I think this is actually not good synergy. Can't tell. 308, 289, 308. I don't know. 289 to 308 is... Uh, plus 9. 25% of 37... Uh, is that... It's about 9? Yeah, I think so. Three random item components. Now I kind of wish I didn't slam this. Or it could just be Bodyguard uh, Vex. I mean, this seems kind of good. I mean, hopefully they're good ones. <laughs> I don't want a static shiv, yeah, for zigs. I kind of want to do this. If I do that, then it's like Ionic Sunfire. Wait, if I do Ionic, then I don't need... Um, I do need to make some kind of MR production item, though. Ionic... I think it's Ionic Redemption? Redemption, and then probably Titans here. We'll see. Uh, I still need to roll for more poppies, I think. So what are we doing? Yeah, I need the poppies so I can get to 60 Ordle. Yeah, so I think this actually, what this means is that it reduces the Yordle's max mana, which is not very good with Archangels. I mean, he's still passing a lot. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's a lot of damage. But it's it's kind of a negative uh buff. Okay, so we'll see if we get off Raptors, but it's probably just Titans the Vex. You still can hit Vigar? Yeah, we'll we'll hit Vigar eventually. Uh yeah, this is our level seven, right? I guess we already have scrap in. What would I rather have in? Maybe just twin shot. Yep. This is good. Okay, two Vexes off, two, uh, two of these off, and then we'll level. Put in... Wait, I got two items? Huh, interesting. I mean, ZZ Ruts, or not ZZ Ruts, but Zeke's plus that seems pretty good. Copy. Copy. Okay, uh, now we can level because we're just looking for three costs. And it could be Giant Slayer here. I think it's just Zeke's Herald. What's this? Let me just leave this here as a scrap. We could technically put... Uh, we could move this, but I don't think it's going to make a huge difference. I don't think Zig's damage is going to matter that much. Yeah, I think this positioning is definitely better. Now that I think about it. Okay, so the only issue is we only have uh, two Nars so far. That's kind of worrying, but hopefully Corky can just one-shot everyone. <laughs> Thousand damage. Yeah. So this guy's level 6 as well, huh? Interesting. Yeah, we want to level and put something in. Yep. In worst case, it could be Jarvan for Striker. And that's Striker buff. And this, it should be, like, here. Oh, we actually have four Nars. This is a two-star Nar. Okay, so that's good. We're not as far away. We're just pretty far away. Darwin's just going to be bait right here. And die immediately. Okay. 1k damage. It's not bad. I wish I had a JG. I feel like that's definitely more damage than second death cap. But, you know, you get what you get. Oh my god. 
Quirky missile kind of one shot in people. And my frontline's pretty tanky, too. Oh, we hit the Zeri? They're out of commission. Yeah, 9,000. 9,000 damage. Not bad. And I'd love to get in double shot. Oh, and there's my Vex 3. Um, so we probably just go level 8 then. Uh, we ideally probably take this out for Braum. It's probably this out for Braum, and then we level and play Jinx. So that we can get the twin shot. Because Jinx is the only twin shot unit I really want to play. Even though Jinx with no items is not going to be that great. In case, interesting. True. It's like, I don't think... These are definitely not even the best Corky items. Like, there's definitely much better items on him. But it works. I think we're going to lose this fight. Unless Vex can tank a lot. Vex is actually doing a really good job. Oh? That throw? Okay, just need one more Corky cast. Wow, ah, that Draven's so tanky, actually. Okay, but the Vex is so tanky? Ooh, and these Vex is too tanky. Nice. Alright, what am I talking about? I'm never going to lose. Uh, what do I want as our item? Lulu? Blue buff for Lulu? Doesn't seem that bad. This is not bad? Shojin Lulu? Redemption for our... Like, shit? It's just the... It's just this. This item's too good. I don't really need anything else. None of these items do that much for me. I have all my tank items and all my carry items. Oh, here's the GP, by the way. and get twin shot in. Okay. So we're definitely fighting this guy. I'll just uh, Zephyr is this gen. Literally everyone has their carry up there now that I look at it. We should move the Corky to this side. We can put him in the corner, right? Yeah, there's no one. No one plays. Um... I feel like nobody plays Blitzcrank anymore. I see so few Blitzcranks in my games. Corky. Okay, Corky dodging the uh, Alistair ult is really good. Damn, that Alistair put in work, but it's fine. Corky's alive and Vex is alive. This is a really good... That was positioning diff. We actually smurfed on him with smart positioning. Alright. Um. So yeah, we have three Nars left. And then we'll start spawning um, our guys. Where's the searchlight? Oh, it's right there. I'm stupid. Let's go socialite. I guess I could put in a Silco. Like, I think at this point I just go level 9. And then put one more unit in. Because, like, rolling down for just Nar is not worth it. Yeah, I'm down to just keep this positioning and Zephyr that. Uh... Oh, shit, he moved to Seraphine! <laughs> uh, okay, that's my V. Fuck. Okay, that's bad. And this guy gets enforced? Oh, okay, he's got four Enforcer in. I was like, there's no way a three Enforcer. No! Oh my god, the Lulu tanked it. Oh my god. 12,000? The Quirky hits twice with each twin shot? Only only sometimes. 40% chance. But yeah, 40% chance to hit twice. I don't think it's worth to play another... Uh... I mean, this is Searchlight Enchanter. Might be better. Enchanter's really good. Hmm. And that's gonna give um Vex extra mana. Okay, I'm actually down to put this in instead of this. Cause uh, I don't think Silka's even We got a Nikos? That's really cool. This means we can just Nico uh Nar next turn and have Nar 3. It's the same thing as Nikoing a Vagar, right? Like, it's... Both of them will get us to getting Vagar faster. Um, Where do I put this Quicksilver? On Frontline? Or, like, on Lulu? I'm down for on Lulu, but... No. Nah. Let's just do this here. Wait, I'm bad at the game. Oh, he moved it so far away anyway. Okay, it's fine. 
So yeah, we'll just we'll just Nico's this next turn. Okay, I mean we're really far from the Draven. I guess that's good for him because he has infinite range. I think that was a double cast from Corky. Might maybe I'm blind. But pretty sure he double cast there. I might actually lose this. Double cast, maybe? He's so tanky, bro. Oh, he's got very VIP. Oh no. Alright, let's do this. 72 gold to level. So I have to go next round. But now we're going to start spawning in Vygars. Okay, that guy's pretty... I feel like that's the guy I can lose to. So this this means when an ally dies, they give Draven a bunch of HP. That's why he's so tanky every fight. I swapped a little early, but... Yeah, this guy swapped sides. Damn it. Not good. It's okay. Okay, we got him. Yeah, this guy got wrecked. What very VIP does? Yeah, so it... Yeah. Ants are good. Just a bit of a lag. Okay, so we can put this in next level. And it's actually really strong. Social light plus enchanter. I mean, I guess we should look at the lobby. Yeah. Because that guy's all AD. This one by your. I mean, we can... Yeah, Devonair is kind of like Imperial. I guess this is just our unit that we put in. This should go in over here, though, probably. And then, like... I don't know. It's AP slash AD, AD, AD. I was holding onto the Ziggs. I was about to wreck this guy's gin, but I messed it up. I'm getting so wrecked on these, uh... Things, man. Okay, give me some Vigar damage. It is Vigar with only one item, or with literally zero items. So he's not going to deal that much damage, but he should help. Yo! Are the... Nice Vigar damage, by the way. A 6k with, with zero items? And I can pick up an item here for him? Hodge is okay? Ooh! These clubs? Give me Hodge with these... Ugh, we're not going to get either, huh? We're going to get wrecked. This guy doesn't take this, this guy takes this. I'll just, I can just take this and give us more attack speed. Yeah, why not? Madge, I want a Vigar item. Where's my Vigar item? Okay. Another Agar, though. Uh, so, yeah, it's. Okay, that guy's dead. So now it's. This is all AP damage, and this is going to be a decent amount of AP damage. So, yeah, I think this end is good. I think this is just our board. Except this is going to come out for a, uh, a Jinx if we can find one. Uh, no, never. Oh, there's the Jinx. Like... Yeah. I wanted to Zephyr. I didn't want to put a Zephyr on my Vigar. Even though that doesn't really matter. In some ways, maybe it's good to Zephyr the Vigar. Because we're actually going to get a Vigar every round. <laughs> it's kind of funny. You guys got a really tanky front line. Leave Agar and okay, my my board is even tankier, I guess. Nice, 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 nice. nice. Uh, just sell these. And this is Vigar two right here. We start. I don't think we're gonna have enough time to get to Vigar three. I think we're gonna. I think the game's gonna be over by then, for better or for worse. This is really scary though. Okay. Rob's hit the gin. Yeah, hitting the gin is really good. This getting in force is quite annoying, but what are you gonna do? Actually, I know what we're gonna do, but. Well, it takes a sec. Oh my god. We actually got wrecked by the gin, but the Vigar? It's too much damage. Our board's too strong. The Jin actually wrecked our guy, though. This guy doesn't have four enforcer in, does he? No? Yeah. Okay, so a really cute thing you can do. Just like a, a random TFT tip that's really interesting. Okay, 
So if I was fighting this Enforcer guy again with 4 Enforcer, what 4 Enforcer does is it enforces the enemy who dealt the most damage last combat. What I could do is I could take Corky out versus Rift Herald, put him on my bench and put in like, say, a Vigar, and then Corky will never be the unit that dealt the most damage last combat. So then he won't get enforced. You can use that to actually like beat the Enforcer for one round by putting in a unit during the creep round. Um, doesn't really help here because... We should roll for Jinx, by the way. Um, because the guy with four enforcers is dead, but if he wasn't, it'd be uh, a cute little thing I could do. My Jinx! Okay. This here, I think. What? Oh, he swapped. Okay. And I should need a Vigar item? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, indeed. He swap. I tried to do it last second, but he did it last, last second. We might get wrecked here, actually. Our positioning is not very good. She's going to fire through our whole team. Hopefully Viger can do enough damage. Okay, it's only three units lost. Yeah, we need a Viger item. Maybe we can get one here. Okay, that's my Jinx, too. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty helpful. Um, okay, so... We want a Zephyr the Zeri, but if we can't do that, we could always just Zephyr his front line. That doesn't seem that great. Eh, it's kind of good. Like, what if we just Zephyr this? We'll see how this works. I also wanted to get away from this line, because the Zeri's going to shoot through my team across this line. So I really just want to... Hey, this is really good, because we're hitting the Zeri now. If we already focus his back line. The Zeri got away, but we killed everything else. This was a huge get this this was a huge positioning diff. Ooh, and it's a first, baby! It's a first with six Yordles. Um Orky? Carry? Uh so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my Twitch down below. Thank you, thank you, thank you.